Does rosemary oil actually work for hair loss? Spoiler alert, it does. Rosemary oil has been praised for its anti-inflammatory and circulation improving properties since her grandmother's time. But in more recent years, the medical community has acclaimed its hair growth properties. To keep things in perspective, 85% of men and 50% of females will suffer from hair loss in their adult life. If you were lucky enough to not suffer from hair loss yet, a fuller mane is always attractive and rosemary oil can get you there. One common type of hair loss in men and women is called alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune condition often found at the root of hair loss. When the immune system targets your hair follicles as a threat, it can result in patches of hair falling out. Progressive hair loss is also known to cause low self-esteem in men and women. Does rosemary oil actually work? A 2015 study compared rosemary oil and minoxidil, commercially known as Rogaine, in the treatment of people with alopecia, aka hair loss. Results showed that both rosemary oil and minoxidil resulted in significant hair growth at the six month usage mark. While there were no differences when it came to dry hair, greasy hair, and dandruff, minoxidil did have more reports of scalp itching compared to rosemary oil. Rosemary essential oil has many hair benefits. Carnosic acid, an active ingredient in the plant, healed tissue and nerve damage in one study. This ability to heal nerve endings may rejuvenate nerves in the scalp too, in turn, possibly restoring hair growth. In addition to promoting hair growth, rosemary oil has also been linked to reducing problems associated with a flaky scalp. Using rosemary oil for hair is especially beneficial if you have split ends. This is known to repair your hair and make it stronger, thus getting rid of unhealthy split ends over time. According to certain specialists, rosemary oil can even help mitigate the depigmentation of hair as it slowly fades to gray. That is because the oil can promote pigmentation of the hair. This not only prevents particular strands from turning gray, but in some cases, it can even help return the hair to its original color. How to use rosemary oil in your hair. If you'd like to add rosemary oil in your hair care routine, there are several ways that you can do this. Beyond its powerful hair growth benefits, rosemary oil has a powerful, refreshing scent that you might find pleasant when it's applied to your scalp. Try to one, massage rosemary oil directly into your scalp before or after taking a bath or shower, mix five drops of rosemary oil with one teaspoon of a carrier oil, such as olive oil, jojoba oil, or coconut oil. Apply this directly to the scalp and massage it in. Rinsing out the oil afterward is optional. Though, if you do rinse, let the oil sit on the scalp for at least five to 10 minutes. Two, mix it into your shampoo or other hair products. Add two to three drops directly to any hair product when you apply a dollop of it in your palm before use. Keep to about five drops per ounce of product. This can apply to shampoo, conditioners, lotions, or other hair treatments. Play it safe and don't add too much. Afterward, use the product like usual. Three, add it to your own homemade shampoo. There are many recipes online for shampoo base. These may incorporate a mixture of baking soda, coconut oil, rosemary oil, and possibly other oils. To make your own gentle, restorative shampoo, mix the following ingredients. 10 to 15 drops of rosemary essential oil, half a cup of castile soap, half a cup of peppermint or chamomile tea. Four, buy rosemary oil shampoo or conditioner. If you'd prefer not to add rosemary oil to your current shampoo, you can also buy rosemary oil shampoo, conditioner, and other hair care products from most drugstores and online retailers. But be wary of shampoos and other products that boast rosemary on their label, but they don't include it as one of the main ingredients. For our list of recommended rosemary oil or products with rosemary oil, check the links in the description. A word on stress. 
Keep in mind that to treat thinning hair and hair loss associated with alopecia areata, it's important to reduce stress levels and allow your body to heal so your hair will grow back quickly. Several stress relievers can help to encourage blood circulation and promote hair growth. These include exercise like yoga, meditation, journaling, and spending more time outdoors. Dealing with hair loss can be difficult emotionally as you may begin to feel insecure about your appearance. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family members during this difficult time. And connect with other people who are also dealing with this skin condition. Rosemary oil safety. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding should not use rosemary oil unless a doctor advises them otherwise. People should also avoid getting rosemary oil in their eyes or mouths and should keep it out of the reach of children. There is no evidence that rosemary oil works for children's hair loss or that it's safe to use on children's scalps. While rosemary oil may be an effective remedy for hair loss, some level of patience is required to see the results. It can take up to six months before you can start to see noticeable results. Studies on the effectiveness of rosemary essential oil for hair loss are still limited, but rosemary essential oil may give your father's Rogaine a run for its money. Thank you for watching our videos. See you next time.